have a very important message I want to share with you. Actually, something very dramatic uh, just happened. And uh, praise God, another miraculous testimony of his incredible power and the word of the Lord that is no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah. And every tongue that rises up against you shall be condemned. Listen, go ahead and share this broadcast. Something very wild just happened to me as I was at the grocery store of all places, right? You think everything is, uh, you know, just going normal and uh, praise the Lord. Uh, this is going to be a very powerful testimony. I want you to share this message. Um, there was a demonic plot of the devil that got stopped. Praise God by the power of the Holy Spirit. There were some people. Uh, influenced by demonic spirits that were plotting a crime and the Lord stopped it in real time. Now listen, go ahead and share this. I want people to be blessed and I want them to be sober and alert in these days that we live in because we live in times of great darkness and the glory of the Lord is rising on his people. But here, this is what happened. I was just out doing some grocery shopping before Shabbat and uh, just getting things ready. And I had a really nice time today. I was praying in the spirit, um, you know, all morning in the car. And the Lord was really speaking to me and, you know, really downloading some amazing things about this season that we're coming into. But he also reminded me of this dream that he gave me a warning dream um, that he gave me back in October, November when I was here visiting. And it was a dream about supernatural protection. Uh, and so I had just shared this story about that dream um, with a friend of mine on the phone on my way to the grocery store. So I'm just blown away that this actually happened literally like 45 minutes to an hour after I had uh, shared with my friend that dream that the Lord brought back into my spirit and uh, and, and basically what that dream was, was that I was uh, in this black SUV and um, there were these, uh, you know, forces, let's call them, that were coming and trying to, uh, trying to get me, basically. And uh, I was in this black SUV and they couldn't see me. Um, so I was like supernaturally protected, but that was the dream. So anyways, I had just shared that dream today with a friend on the phone and the next stop that I went to, I went to a grocery store and uh, just everything was normal. Uh, was in there shopping, getting my groceries. And, uh, you know, I had a, a cart full of groceries um, and, you know, I came back out to my, uh, my car, my rental. And uh, I uh, just opened the back hatch to the car to put the groceries in and there was this van that was parked right next to my car with a, a, a person in there. You know, it was a, a Spanish descent and um, it doesn't really matter, you know, what, you know, what color or whatever, but I'm just saying that that's what it was. Um, and so he looked at me and he said, he was like, come here, right? And immediately I had this major check in my spirit and I sensed the demonic presence and immediately I was like, I was like, what do you want? Like I, I didn't go over to his car. He rolled down the passenger side window. He wanted me to come over there. I just stood where I was and I was like, you know, what, what do you want? And he just, he didn't say anything. He was just like, come here. And uh, it was super bizarre. I, I had a major check in my spirit and, uh, and he, I was like, no, I'm not coming over there. I literally looked at him. I was like, no, what do you want? I'm not like, what do you want? I felt it right away, you know, and I'm, I'm a loving, pleasant guy. So if anybody wants to talk to me, like I'll talk to them all day, day long, but I, I sensed danger. I sensed a demonic presence right away. And I was like, no, I'm not coming over there. And, uh, and he just kept doing this. So immediately I just started praying in my spirit and I pulled out my phone and made a phone call and I was looking right at him and I was like, I was like, hey, you know, I called uh, somebody I was just talking to and I was like, hey, you need to get down here right away. I'm here at this, uh, at this Kroger and, you know, I need, you need to come on down here and I'm looking right at the guy. And so he stood, stayed in his car 
I went around to the other side of my car and I was on the phone uh, making sure that I was, uh, you know, leaving uh, detailed uh, information. And so I'm looking at them from the other side. I, I know right away that there's something demonic that they got planned. And so I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking around, you know, I'm being very cautious at this point because my spirit, you know, was, was uh, discerning danger. And so sure enough, about 30 seconds later, this other car pulls in on the other side of my car. So the, his van was on the passenger side of my car. And then on my driver's side window, this other car pulled up with four thug looking guys. Okay. The, they're, you know, they were straight up thugs. All right. And, and right away they pulled in like a few parking spots over. So they weren't like right next to me. They were like maybe three, three, four parking spots away. And I was looking right at them. As soon as they pulled up, it was like laser focus, right? I'm looking right at them. I'm on the phone and they get out and they're like talking to each other. They looked over at me and, you know, they got out real slow and it was like they were thinking about what to do. I could literally discern in the spirit what they were doing, right? And so they, uh, they looked at me and they kind of talked and then they, they kind of like, I could tell they were making a decision, like, what are they going to do? Because um, obviously their plan was foiled because what was happening was that guy in the van, which was one of their buddies, was trying to get me distracted to go over to talk to him while my car was unlocked so they could come from the other side and, you know, do whatever demonic crime they were plotting, whether it be, you know, carjacking, you know, whatever it was, steal my groceries, steal my, you know, my money or you know, take the car, whatever it might be. Um, but I was looking right at them. And so you could tell that they knew that their plan was foiled because I wasn't distracted. I wasn't on the other side. I was at the passing. I was at my driver's side with my keys on the phone, looking right at them. Right. And, uh, and so they slowly went into the grocery store, like, and I could tell they were very hesitant, but it was there. So basically they know that their plan was foiled. So they went away. So I'm on the phone, you know, and so all of a sudden, and this is how I know, because they walked into the grocery store. I look over to the guy in the van, the original dude that had tried to get me to come over to him. And he just like looked at me and then he drove off really slow. Okay. So think about this. He was parked right next to my car. He was telling me to come over there. I didn't come over there. Don't know this guy. Never seen this guy in my life. And then once they walked in, he just drove off. All right. So the reason I'm sharing this is this, you know, this just happened like 25 minutes ago and you know, the Lord speaking into my spirit and he's like, you know, your adversary, the devil is roaming around seeking someone to devour. Okay. Be sober and alert. I'm here to tell you, you know, I got angels with me. I have angels wherever I go, you know, praise God. No weapon formed against me will prosper. And I trust in the Lord and I know he's got my back. And immediately when that danger arose, he alerted me. And my spirit man was so on point because of the grace and the mercy of the most high God, because the word of the Lord is true and it stands fast over all darkness and deception. But I just want to point out the fact that, you know, had I been distracted, had I not been in the spirit, you know, I could have just walked over and to his car and, you know, asked it, well, what do you want? You know, and, and it could have gone down a whole nother way. But I'm here to tell you that our God is mighty. Our God is powerful. The angelic forces are real. It says in the word of God, do not conform to the pattern of this world. Instead, be renewed by the transformation of your mind. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It's time to take out the sword of the spirit. It is time for the people of God to armor up, put on the full armor of God, because you never know when a dangerous situation is going to arise. But glory to God, he will deliver you all who call upon the name of the Lord. Now, listen, I'm fired up in the spirit. I am fired up in the spirit right now because we've been through battle after battle after battle after battle fighting the Antichrist spirit. And I'm not going to lie to you, man. I've been battle weary. Okay. We literally escaped Israel. We escaped that place uh, after a major war with the Antichrist spirit. God delivered us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
But you know, it's been battle after battle after battle, but it's been victory after victory after victory. And I'm telling you, I'm stomping on the devil's head right now. I am feeling so fired up in the spirit. Luke 10, 19, behold, I have given you authority to trample on scorpions and serpents and no work of evil shall by any means harm you. I'm here to tell you right now, it is time for the army of the kingdom of God to rise up in this hour, to begin to declare and decree. These demons don't stand a chance. These wicked tyrants don't stand a chance. I'm here to tell you that our God is mighty. He says, fear not for when you go through the water, it shall not overtake you. When you go through the fire, you will not be burned for the Lord, your God walks with you. Listen, danger is all around us. Everywhere you go, there's danger. Whether you're just minding your own business, even doing what's right, there is a demonic plot of the enemy in this hour to come after the people of God. But I'm here to tell you, you don't need to back up. You don't need to pack up. You need to rise up in the power, in the boldness of the Holy Spirit. I am so grateful to God. And the reason why I want you to share this is because it gives testimony to how great our God is. You see, if I wasn't filled with the Holy Spirit, you know, if I wasn't paying attention, if the Lord hadn't alerted me, this whole situation could have turned out much different. I mean, I'm serious. Look, I, I'm not, this isn't something that I think was going to happen. I know for sure, a hundred percent. Okay. I was a prodigal for many years, you know, before the Lord saved me. And, you know, I've encountered those types of people. I've discerned that. I know what that spirit is. I've been there. Okay. When I was a teenager in high school, I hung out with some rough people. You know, I, I discern that spirit. I know what that is. And these people were filled with demonic, oppressive powers. They were literally plotting destruction and evil and wickedness. And now I pray for them. May the Lord God Almighty deliver them. May he deliver them and may he set them free. May they come to know Messiah Yeshua, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But listen, I'm here to tell you today, the days are evil. The days are dark. Be sober and alert. Pray so that you can pray. Remain in the spirit. Remain in the spirit. Sow to the spirit and you will reap everlasting life in Yeshua's name. Listen, be blessed. God is good. He is on the throne. He delivers his people. Come on, somebody. Complete victory is the word of the Lord. Every time something like this happens, it's an opportunity to give glory to God. And I pray that this encourage you. Go ahead and share this message. God bless you. Take care and Shabbat Shalom. I am going to enjoy a beautiful dinner with my family and celebrate that God has protected us once again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Take care. Oh,